Good day and welcome to our today's discussion. Again, before I start, let us have a recall first. So yesterday we talked about nouns and nouns means names. So again, yesterday we talked about two types of nouns and those two are proper and common. Again, when we say proper noun, these are specific names and for common noun, these are general names. Okay, so earlier before this video, you've watched and answer an ad puzzle video entitled 10 Little Pigs. Now, 10, that's too many. But how many pigs are there in the video? Of course, there are 10 because it is entitled 10 Little Pigs, right? Now, I will show you this. Now, can you count how many pigs are here on this picture? If your answer is a 14, then you are correct. Now, you know the answer because you counted how many pigs are there. Am I right? Okay, very good. So, for today, we're going to talk about two more types of nouns. And those two are count and mass nouns. So, we will start our discussion with count noun. So, when we say count noun, these are the nouns that, of course, you can count or it can be counted just like what you did in this picture right for you to get the correct answer you need to count it if you can count it these are these are called count noun now i will show you some examples try to count it as well okay now how many pencils are here on this picture how about the apples now how many books are there how about the dogs? Now, how many water are there? Can you count it? Oops, you cannot count the water. It is impossible to count the water. And if you think that is impossible to count, you are going to call it mass noun. So mass noun are the noun or are the nouns that can't be counted. For example, sand. Can you count how many sand are there to make this sand castle? Now, how about the milk? Of course, you can count the milk carton, but can you count the milk inside the carton? How about the salt? For this one, you can see that there is a cup of rice but can you count the rice inside the cup? Now, the last picture is a picture of a hair. Now, can you count how many hair you have? Of course not. Again, count and mass noun. When we say count noun, these are the nouns that you can count. And when we say mass noun, these are the nouns you cannot count. Now, let us try. Just tell me if it is an example of a count or a math noun. First, hairbrush. Next, grass. Next is wine. And the last one is a picture of a pen. Okay, very good. Now, let us have a summary of what we discussed today. Now, there are three things you need to remember in this lesson. The first one is that nouns are naming words. Next, count nouns are the nouns that can be counted. And last, mass nouns are the nouns so that you cannot count. Now, for number two. Two ideas unlocked in this lesson are count noun and the mass noun. And for the last one, there is again one question you need to answer, and that is, what are the differences between count and mass noun? Okay, thank you, and see you again tomorrow.